this evening is the mayor's report. And because we have included those quarterly city reports in the consent calendar, I'm going to be highlighting a few of those items, which will make my report a little bit longer tonight. So first up, there will be an executive session held this evening to discuss pending and potential litigation per RCW 42.30.110 per N1 per NI. This item is expected to last 20 minutes and no action is anticipated at this time to occur in the open session. Uh, it is Parks and Community Services Month. Every day, our Parks and Community Services team works to maintain our excellent quality of life here in Issaquah. And with great appreciation for the work they do in serving our community, I have proclaimed July Parks and Community Services Month. Thank you to our Parks and Community Services team for your essential service to our community. Please join me this month in celebrating by taking a hike, enrolling in a program, or just simply picnicking in a local park. The second quarter reports are included on the consent agenda this evening. Um, this is the admin, uh, these reports provide updates to council and to the community on the work we are doing in 2021, as well as providing updates on some performance metrics associated with our city strategic plan. These reports, which the city council will formally receive through the consent agenda, include the citywide work plan, the capital projects list, the second report on the performance measurement plan. And while there will not be a formal presentation on these reports, I did want to provide a few highlights. For the citywide work plan, which is organized according to our strategic plan, here are the significant updates since the last report in April. In general, there was a sustained progress or improvement for all of the actions on the work plan. The improvement was primarily due to four actions under the growth and development and environmental stewardship goal areas that are associated with the Title 18 update. These four actions shifted from the major challenges classification to on track as that work now progresses. Other highlights from the environmental stewardship goal include the Parks and Community Services Department continues to develop the Green Issaquah Partnership. This collaborative effort between the City of Issaquah, Forterra, and community groups trains volunteers to help steward our forested parks and open spaces. The 20-year implementation guide for the program has been published and is available on the city website. Also, work on the Climate Action Plan began earlier in the second quarter and will create a roadmap for reducing citywide greenhouse gas emissions and preparing for the impacts of climate change. In the Mobility Goal area, work has resumed on two actions that were previously on hold. The administration is working on the Squawk Talus Community Connections Partnership and the Regional Employers Transit Group which the council received an update on at the June 29th city uh, council study session. In the social and economic vitality goal area, the healthy community strategy that was on hold has been restructured as a human services strategic plan. This planning effort, which will include the healthy community, housing and homelessness policy conversations, began with a needs assessment to inform future work. And finally, the Snoqualmie Tribe Vaccine Partnership at Lake Sammamish State Park concluded in June. It was very successful. For the capital projects update, in April, 41 of 47 projects were considered on track. Since April, nine of those projects previously considered on track have been reclassified. Three projects are now complete. These include the Southeast 43rd Way signal improvements and two water utility projects the Forest Rim Reservoirs and Cougar Ridge Isolation Valve. One project, the Newport Way Landside Repair, has been postponed construction from Q3 2021 until 2022. Five other projects are now classified as minor challenges because the project timelines have been delayed by one quarter. These projects include the Newport Way improvements from Maple to Sunset, the Northwest Sammamish Road non-motorized improvements, the Southeast 43rd Way and East Lake Sammamish Parkway Roundabout Project, and the Newport Pedestrian Bridge and Old Town Traffic Calming. From the Performance Measurement Report, the second quarter update contained uh, in Exhibit C presents the changes to seven performance measures based on data from the 2021 Community Survey. The report provides a summary of these high-level outcome measures along with graphics, and a brief discussion of trends and performance against internal goals and regional benchmarks. That is the summary of highlights for the um, quarterly reports that were included on the consent calendar. I also wanted to talk about the 2021 Arts Grant. 
Another item on tonight's consent agenda is AB 8210, the arts grants recommendations. And I'd like to highlight the following. The round two arts funding will provide $44,150 for nine projects that will reach broadly across the community through visual, performing, and literary art experiences. Issaquah's art organizations are demonstrating creativity and flexibility in how to deliver arts opportunities for the community during the pandemic with an increased usage of technology and virtual programming, trends that are likely to continue for a while. Uh, they are conducting multiple rounds of flexible arts funding, requires less application lead time, and is helping remove barriers for smaller, less formalized community groups. More than 30% of the 2021 arts grants applicants were new to the city's arts funding process. That's the last item I'll be reporting out on tonight in the mayor's report. And we will move on to the consent calendar.